We'll um, call to order the December 6th meeting, special meeting of the Glendale City Council. Roll call, please. Councilmember Garbetian. Here. Najarian. Here. Sinanian. Here. Mary Devine. Yes, here. Next. The agenda for the December 6, 2016 special public meeting of the City Council is posted on Friday, December 2nd, 2016 on the bulletin board outside City Hall. Thank you. And the next item. One, Director of Community Development regarding for, regarding for the Central Block Park Project Urban and Landscape Design Services. One, a resolution authorizing the City Manager to negotiate and enter into a Professional Service Agreement, PSA, with SWA in the amount not to exceed $244,450. 1B resolution appropriating 270000 for economic development, general fund assigned fund balances 2427-0101 to the contractual services, economic development project, central park block project account 43110101-7185-2095. Thank you. Ms. Spears. Madam Mayor, members of the Council, Darlene Sanchez, our Deputy uh, Director of Community Development, has a presentation for you this afternoon. Darlene. Good afternoon, Mayor Devine and Council members. Uh, this afternoon, staff is recommending approval of a professional services contract for a master design team that would deliver a cohesive design for the public open space on the Central Park block. Um, the item before you does represent an important milestone related to the next phase of the Central Park block project that will be the catalyst for the creation of these connective corridors, open space, and a parking garage uh, that could serve the block. Um, so, just so you can see, the block already anchors a number of public amenities that includes the Adult Recreation Center, Central Library, um, and Central Park, which is a site currently being studied as part of an exclusive negotiating agreement for the development of a museum and cultural center. Um, since the 90s, uh, the greater, with the Greater Downtown Strategic Plan, the block was uh, first identified as an emerging civic core um, and a really ideal location to serve as a community focal point because of its location. In 2009 is when the city approved a conceptual master plan that discussed an approach for the phased implementation of these various improvements. Um, the discussions continue to center around connectivity within the block and improvements to the civic buildings that enhance the connectivity connection um, not only within that block but to Brand Boulevard as well as our, as our arts and entertainment district. Um, so one of those areas of focus, just to kind of take you through that block, is uh, the Adult Recreation Center. Um, although it's been in operation since the 1960s, it was renovated and reopened in 2010 as a state-of-the-art facility uh, which um, provides senior programs and uh, services that focus on wellness. Um, another area of focus is the Central Park Paseo. Um, the city had initiated construction of the Paseo that connected Brand Boulevard with the park and the library. Um, this is a fairly new improvement that was completed in October of 2015. And then something we just uh, discussed a bit, um, this is the third anchor on the block, which is the Central Library. Um, the re relocation of the main entrance from the building's east side to its north side will create this new entry plaza that's oriented toward the expanding arts and entertainment district. And what it does is further um, drive Central Library's role as this community social hub as well as this block. Uh, so as part of the com proposed contract with the master design team, they're going to look at landscaping, programming, and design opportunities throughout the block. Um, with the central park lawn being studied, and that's the green area here, um, as a potential museum site uh, by the Armenian American Museum and Cultural Center of California, uh, there are two areas of consideration um, when we look at the potential interface with the museum. Um, the first, uh, like I said, is in that plaza open space, that's the green area um, uh, that would sur immediately surround uh, the museum. That plaza area would be public space. Again, we'd want to make sure that we coordinate with the museum um, so that those are coordinated efforts, but again, that's a public property. The second component of that would be um, the potential of a shared public parking garage that meets the needs of that block and also of downtown. Um, the specific configuration and size of the museum are still being studied, and a preliminary design is conditioned upon an underground st parking structure with the museum sitting on top of that structure. 
And so given the complexity of a shared parking garage and the third party in working with the museum, um, the staff really looked for a team uh, that had that spirit of collaboration and understood the different uh, stakeholders that are involved. Um, again, not only uh, because of that collaboration, but again, you have a superstructure sitting on top of a public parking uh, a gr garage. Um, I think, though, perhaps the most critical element when considering the design of this block um, would be to create a thoughtful relocation of the open space. Um, because, again, when you put the museum on the Central Park lawn, you need to consider where that open space could be placed throughout the block. And, and in looking at the entirety, there are opportunities, whether it's through the extension of that Paseo and open space, whether you look at recreation and open space um, near the library, um, oh, and around that area, like I said, where the museum is, as well as where the ARC is sitting. Um, so with that strategy, um, there's been this, again, this need to bring on a master design team. Um, so this map depicts some layouts um, of the potential um, open space that can be placed throughout that block. Um, when you look at the entirety of the site, you can see um, that there could be opportunities for better creation of more usable space than a, a green lawn, for instance. Um, the design team would help craft the vision uh, for the relocation of that green space, the expansion of the Paseo, and the connection um, and the creation of that underground parking garage. Um, all amenities but would be looked at in a way to connect with one another, um, as well as to our 18-hour city, um, since it's in the downtown. Um, so with this in mind, it was very critical to select the right team with the right experience. Um, for this RFP, city staff sent um, the uh, request for proposal out to 29 firms. Um, we received 10 of those proposals. Um, from the list of 10, five, five firms were selected to be interviewed by a panel of city staff. Uh, the city selection team consisted of members from urban design, parks, uh, public works, community development, and economic development. Um, all five of the finalists are very highly qualified. They possess the necessary technical skills and had similar experience. Um, however, the two items that sent the selected firm apart, which is SWA, um, from the other proposals was the thoroughness of how they address the scope of the work um, as well as their pricing. Um, so what SWA presented in both their written proposal and again during their oral interview um, was that they understood the importance of designing a block um, and looking at uh, Central Park as a whole campus. Um, they delivered a team uh, with a deep bench of experts from all disciplines that would be needed for a scope of this size. Um, SWA would act as uh, the lead. Um, they provide the landscape, landscape architecture, urban design, community outreach, and programming. They've um, brought on Gonzalez Goodale, who serves as an ar uh, architect and design. KPFF for civil engineering, and ELP for financial and strategic advisory. Um, so following uh, what was a pretty rigorous and fast request for proposal process, um, SWA is the staff recommendation to deliver the design for the block that will address the many complex conditions um, and concerns uh, that are situated here. Um, so to do this, what SWA has laid out, um, very preliminary, is they would analyze the current campus. Um, they would work with the uh, community stakeholders to address any concerns. They would incorporate that feedback. And then what they're going to do is provide, come back to the council and provide concept plans so that you would look at those. And then from those concept plans, they would design um, a schematic design for the block. Um, again, uh, they, this is a complex project. They uh, are a very experienced team um, for what we were looking for. I pulled two examples um, from their proposal. Uh, the photo on top is from some of the work they did in Texas, um, where they reestablished a 100-year-old plaza as a new gathering place. Um, this was particularly interesting to us because it had a number of public amenities, and it was in their existing downtown. Um, and then the photo pictured on the bottom um, is a public plaza. And what you can't see from this photo, it, it's built over an underground parking garage. Again, very appropriate for the things that we're looking at on Central uh, 
park block. Um, so this afternoon, I'm asking the council to approve the contract with SWA for um, and an appropriation of $270,000, of which $244,450 uh, would be the not to exceed amount for the contract with SWA. Any of that additional amount that we're asking for would be for additional services that would not be part of the RFP. So um, many times, maybe it's an extended parking feasibility study or environmental studies that could support this. So um, with that, that concludes my report. We do have um, the uh, managing principals from SWA here to answer any specific questions that you might have, and I can also answer any questions. Thank you. Members, questions? Um, yes, I have a few questions. Basically, what we are what the RFP was indicating was what our goals are, what our vision is, or what do we want as a complex, uh, have a complex that will serve the museum, uh, the ARC, and as well as the library and the Paseo, and combine everything together, have a, have a community pl plaza, basically. Is that, was that one of our goals? Is that, because we're getting it, and the second question, maybe I can ask you questions and you can answer them. Yeah. Um, with this contract, are we getting a conceptual plan or are we getting a, a solid plan as to what can be done? Or is it just a conceptual plan or do we have to go out and again hire them or another company to complete the plan and bring a, a, so, a final plan? Basically? The way that we structured this was to give us the most flexibility. So you are going to get three conceptual plans. So we built that into what we asked them to do. So they're going to bring back conceptual plans um, based on stakeholder engagement, based on the community outreach meetings they'll conduct, and bring those conceptual plans to the council. From that, council would select a conceptual plan. They would make that into a schematic design. At that point, so we'll have actually something we can use and build with, I suppose. At that point, we can make the decision whether we continue with SWA to actually build or whether we stop there and do another RFP. So again, we want it to, there, there is some um, complications, like I said, and we're, what we're doing is we're building a parking garage. We don't know the size of that parking garage yet. Um, we're also building it, um, we're gonna have to build it in, con in conjunction with our, you know, our partners at the museum. So all of that goes together. And then again, when you're looking at the design of the block, um, you, we want to make sure that we have that flexibility. So whether we piece off just the parking structure and we go one way or, you know, we build everything together, that, that would be something we consider at the end of this. I think that the parking is very important because uh, I don't think that this firm is going to design the parking garage. They're going to incorporate that garage and say the garage will be the location of the garage, basically. And also what's very important is the... The egress and egress for the garage. Correct. The, this... actually, and I'm sorry, um, they, they will be designing that parking garage. They, this will be part of this contract is for them to de design the parking garage in conjunction with the museum because, again, the way the museum lays out is could have an impact on that garage. But once we started looking at the ingress and egress issues, we realized, well, we have some other issues when we look at that entire block. When um, if we're going to look to replace that lawn space where Central Park is throughout the block, again, you need somebody that is strategically going to not only look at that public parking structure, but they're going to look at the entirety of what we're doing. And one thing I want to mention is that this is only me and I'm on vote. Make sure you have a water feature in that in that plaza, and I'm not I'm not kidding. We we need to have a water feature. Also, uh, I don't know if we are plumbed over there for recycled water or not. If you want to have a green space, uh, we don't want to have gravel and uh, all you know drought tolerant material only. If we have uh, if you are plumbed for recycled water, let's have some nice green space in that in that area as well because. If it's all concrete, these are all big concrete buildings, as it was mentioned, and we want to have some ni nice green space in the middle of it. Okay. That's um, so far, that's it. Okay. Have, anyone else? I have a question about they did the parking and at the uh, Culver City Main Plaza, correct? They did the parking and the plaza? They worked on it in conjunction with actually another firm, um, but I know um, Gonzalez Goodale has done extensive um, 
parking, and that, that is actually the subconsultant they have to do the parking. As far as what SWA did, I believe the majority of it, again, was to design the public space on top of that garage. But it was all done together. It wasn't, there wasn't just a garage. They had to consider everything that was part of that project. Who else have any questions? Do we need to hear from the museum? Um, that was another question. Are we responsible, the city responsible for all the, um, the green space around the um, projected museum? That you say yeah, it's public the, plaza open space is that it, also part of their design or correct so what we are asking this design team to do is look at any and all public open space so that will be that plaza and open space that is outside of the museum that is still public space um, but what um, so we're talking about this space but what I want to reiterate is that we are partners with the museum we can't design something that ignores the fact that we're doing this wonderful museum there so it does need to interplay with what they're doing but it will still be a public space okay. so Absolutely. and then of course the parking garage is also contemplated as a public space as well and if we're doing a wish list I'd like to see a an event space like a little amphitheater of some sort there that uh, we could have summer concerts in the park. It looks like there might be space somewhere for that. Just put that up there in your computers, okay? Um, any other comments or questions from our council, my colleagues? No, I will not have any. So will we, right. when will we see this again? Um, we've talked about water features. We've talked about amphitheaters. Um, you know, when will we see that it fits? I'm not sure I want a water th feature. Right. I'm not sure I want an amphitheater. Maybe I just want green space. But when would that come before us so we could work out those? Uh, so what they've projected as part of their workflow is they would obviously start studying the area. Um, they also want to make sure they get started on the community input. Um, that's a big part of why we picked them. We felt they were very strong in doing that. And, and then at that point, when it's at the concept design phase, we'd bring that to council. But I imagine we'd want to make sure that we can incorporate community input and what they've heard so that we can present all of that together. And there'll be more than one option, like I said, for you to consider. It's not what we want. It's what the community mm -hmm. wants. Right. So don't give it to us as a package and say, this is it. Let's be aware of the community input as we right. uh, move it forward. Right. Okay. Okay, then do I have a uh, motion for this item? I'll move the item. One and two? Yes. One A and B. A and B. One A and B. Roll call. Second. Second. Thank you. Roll call. Councilmember Carpetian? Yes. Majorian? Yes. Sinanian? Yes. Mayor Devine? Yes. And adjournment is next. Do we have a motion for adjournment? Move to adjourn for council. That's it. Second. Thank you. We are adjourned.